there could be tropical trouble brewing off the coasts of Georgia and South Carolina. A small area of low pressure has formed there about 500 miles offshore, according to the National Hurricane Center. It was starting to look more organized as of Sunday afternoon, and forecasters said a tropical depression could form before the system moves inland late Monday. An Air Force Reserve reconnaissance aircraft is scheduled to take a closer look at the system tomorrow if needed, the Hurricane Center said. The low is expected to track westward today and then turn more to the west-northwest on Monday. It has a 50% chance of becoming a tropical depression in the next two days, according to the Hurricane Center. Regardless if it becomes a tropical depression, it will bring the threat of rip currents, heavy rain and gusty winds to the coasts of the Carolinas and Georgia early this week. That system isn't the only thing on the board as of Sunday afternoon. The Hurricane Center also continued to track another tropical wave much farther to the east in the Atlantic. As of Sunday afternoon it was located more than 700 miles southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands and was moving west to the west-northwest at about 20 miles per hour. It appeared disorganized on Sunday and only had a 30% chance of development in the next five days. However, the Hurricane Center said some gradual development will be possible starting midweek and lasting into the weekend. That will bring it into the Caribbean and possibly toward Puerto Rico. The National Weather Service in San Juan said the tropical wave may affect Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands late Wednesday through Thursday. It could cause heavy rain and rip currents. There have been three named storms so far this season, all tropical storms. Tropical Storm Claudette was the only one so far to make landfall. It made landfall in Louisiana on June 19 and moved across Alabama, causing widespread flooding. At least 14 deaths in Alabama have been blamed on the storm. The Atlantic hurricane season runs through November 30.